Hey, welcome back. This is the orbital buffer that I told you that we're going to use, use to apply green stuff polish to this car. Um, what I'm going to show you right now is just a little prep method to get the polish ready for acceptance onto the orbital buffer. Just a, this is just water, just a little spritz of water because our product is water based so it's like two water molecules coming together otherwise it'll just run right off the pad, it's so slick. Okay, so we're just going to take, whoa, hey, we take a little bit of uh, green stuff polish, put it on the buffer. I use liberally, you know, use it just like you would any other wax. And we're going to start on the big body part of the car. Turn the buffer on. We're going to use a side to side, back and forth motion. Get around all these little things. Don't be afraid of getting on top of this uh, black trim area because our polish actually is good for it. It helps protect it, cleans it, and gives it a nice manufacturing shine. What I'm going to do next, after I finish the top of this, I'm going to go right down the side. We're just doing the big body parts of the car right now. Don't be afraid of getting the uh, little bit on the uh, headlights because we're going to do those by hand later in the detail portion of applying green stuff polish. We're just doing big body work right now. I'm going to stay away from areas where I'm going to have to do it by hand. I want to scratch up the surface of the vehicle with the, with the buffer spinning around. Go to the second door here. After I get done with this second door, I'm going to go ahead and reapply a little bit more wax. Probably don't need to, but like I said, I use it liberally, just like I would any other wax. Let me get you up, pop over here, grab the bottle again. Just gonna put some more on there. As you can see, I'm using it liberally. Soaks right into the buffer because it's water-based. It's, it's absorbing into that water that we put on there originally. It's just like two like minds coming together. Now, there's no petroleum distillates in this product. There's no cornstarch fillers, there's no phosphates, there's no sulfates. It's non-flammable, it's non-toxic. Make sure I got that top part there. Come down to this side bumper here. Well, remember what I said, don't be afraid to get it on this plastic stuff here because it's good for you. It's a nice shine on it. Second buffer pad, I'm just going to apply it. All the while, green stuff polish is curing on the paint. Only takes a minute, 60 seconds. That's all it takes for it to dry before removal. So that's a heck of a lot less time than it would take if you were using another leading manufacturer's polish.
doing this, time flies by. It's actually a whole lot of fun, especially when you see the results. Dan Romanowski from Green Stuff Pulse. Be back to do the other half of the car in one second.